Hey everybody, Haku here with my live reaction or read through for the next three chapters of The Promised Neverland or Yaksoko no Neverland. We've got chapters 169, 170, and 171. Uh, really, really excited to read. As always, I've been liking what's going on the past little while. Things are really sketchy, really scary, but I kind of believe in our group and now they, they, they have a lot to do. Not only do they have to escape, they have to save each other, they have to try to save Sungju and Musica and the the good people of the Demon Society. There's a lot that's going to go down here, and I honestly, I don't even know if we will see them escape. I don't know if they'll ever go to the human world, or if they'll just make the demon world a peaceful place for humans to live alongside them. I honestly think that... That could be a more likely outcome, but there's just a lot of craziness. A lot of craziness going on. So, either way, we're starting off with 169, and we have this color cover with Isabella. And I was going to say, Child Emma Ray and Norman. And it's adorable, but they just, because they're anime characters, they look so sort of off they they don't look like kids more like chibis like their heads look the same and the same size as it or the same size and everything but with just like tiny chibi bodies and they have giant heads but either way i still i think isabella is going to be on the side of good here chapter 169 perfect scores the promised neverland if there were no farms our families and friends would not have been killed to be served as food. If it wasn't for you, that abhorrent hunting ground wouldn't have existed. If it wasn't for your clan, the world wouldn't be this way. This world wouldn't be a place where we children are, actu er, are continually eaten by demons. How many children have died because of you? How many have shed tears? Jeez. Me thinking, like, just thinking back on some of these moments that we're seeing with these flashbacks. Alright. How foolish. If there were no farms, if the Rotary clan wasn't around, you wouldn't have been born. I am your creator. Your dad. Dad. You can't be serious. My dad. No, our. Oh, I love this because it's Oliver thinking about Lucas. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is... I'm get. I feel like I'm tearing up, my dad. No, our dad, because he saved them. He was injured, and after everything he went through, Lucas saved like Zach and Oliver and all of these Goldie Pond kids. Dad, and then he thinks about him sacrificing himself with Hugo, and he gets pissed off. He's definitely not you. And he has Aish, Zach, and Gillian backing him up. On your knees, Peter Rotry. Vincent. And we have Don coming to the rescue. What the... Oh yeah, because Vincent was already injured, but... Okay. Okay. It looked like he had just got shot again for a second there, because this, this face panel's like really weird. But yeah. Alright. We're seeing Hayato freed. Thank goodness. I'm not leaving this area. But, Hayato, can I rely on you to go and secure our escape route and we're seeing what happened? If we end up not catching up to you, don't come back here. Go meet up with Oliver's group. Okay. And Nigel went, of course, too. Or, no, Nigel was telling him. Okay. Hey there, Norman. It's been a while. A guy's voice. Is it the Rotary clan? Yes, that's precisely the situation, and they're listening in. What? Did all the different groups get caught? What's going on? Hayato coming in clutch. Or is it Hayate? I might be getting that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Hayato. Um, crap. This is bad. What should I do? Well, it's obvious. And he kicks this one guy and saves Oliver. I have to take care of this. Bang. Thank goodness, Vincent. I thought you had died. <laughs> I figured I wouldn't be killed immediately. If I died instantly, they wouldn't be able to do the Gupna ceremony. It was still reckless. Thanks. You saved us, Hayato. 
We're good here, says Don. We've gained control here, too. Okay. And Ray and Norman have uh, taken the Rotary guys hostage, then. You had me seriously worried, Vincent. It is what Norman said. Oh, I like this. And we have all the demons taken out. And we're seeing the ones at the control room now, too. And then Peter Rotary, looking pissed and dejected. Held at gunpoint by the Goldie Pond kids. Alright. Ah, uh, now we have Emma Ray and Norman showing up. You lose. How stupid. What will you gain from killing me? Even if I lose, you still have no escape route and no chance of winning. No need to worry. Thank you very much, said Gillian, and he side eyes her. We disabled the system again. The only issue that remains is you. No one can come and save you, says Emma. We will. No one can come and save me. All that's left is me. Let's see. I think you kids are forgetting something. Oh, who is, who is this? Lady with the bangs. And then Ray looks back. Oh, all of the, I guess not mamas, but sisters then? Like all the ones they train, so this is why it's called Perfect Scores. They're all people who got perfect scores as well. Just like Emma, Ray, and Norman. Jeez. And there's a ton of them. So there's a ton of super geniuses that they have, like, produced before. Jeez. What? Why are they... They were able to unlock the doors. Why wouldn't they just turn on him at this point, though? Like, they could they could just leave at this point. Just leave and live. They were able to unlock the doors, says Vincent. This isn't good. Just when we, or just when we thought we'd won. And now, of course, Grandma Isabella. She walks in. Ray looks pissed. Mom. And she points her gun at Emma. Was it fun outside, Emma? You've destroyed everything. You fought and fought and fought. But, no matter how much you resist, it still ends up this way. Despair is unavoidable. You and everyone else returned. You didn't learn your lesson, and this is the result. All of you did splendidly. Perfect scores for everyone. Oh? And the sisters look back then, and so does Nigel, it looks like? What? Okay. And they're just there still. And their guns are all still turned to Rotary. Huh? What, says Emma? You betrayed me. Isabella, of course she was going to betray him. Like, what could he possibly offer her at this point? They could all just leave. He has, like... Like, it was one thing when he had the army of demons there with him, and when the sort of demon society was still not falling apart at the seams, because, like, it's, it's pretty much falling apart at the seams still. And the Rotary clan had all this power. But at this point, like... He doesn't have the same bargaining chips that he once did. Of course, the sort of farms trying to put together their new government are still a pretty big threat because they still have the army going on there. But at least right here, at least at Gracefield, like, they have a lot of people all trained, like, and all incredibly smart and capable and stuff. Because we saw from, like, Crone's flashbacks how crazy the process was to become a sister. So it's like, yeah, they are like super powerful themselves, really. He doesn't really have much to offer them anymore, especially if Emma does have a way out, which she might. We still don't know the full details of how this whole promise thing works or what she had to sacrifice and all that. Uh, but either way, let's read 170 before I like... Before I spend too much time, like, obsessing over one thing, I should probably continue onward. 
Um, don't you want to get out this time, from this hell, from your destiny? I want to get out, she thinks. November 13th, 2047, just before Emma's group infiltrated the farm. And we're seeing her with these other sisters then. Okay. What's going on? Why did Grandma gather all of us here? One of them thinks. We got a notice, or we got notice from above. The escapees from two years ago will attack Gracefield either today or tomorrow. Those upstairs are currently quite busy preparing for it. I'm going to betray the farm. What? Says one of them. I will, uh, I will assist the escapees. Huh? Are there any among you who want to stand up with, or who want to stand up with me? Grandma, what sort of joke is this? I'm serious. This is not a joke. I've been waiting a year and eleven months since becoming Grandma for this moment. And they all look shocked. It's true that it's wrong to go against the farm in this small world we know. We must continue to cling to the rulers to survive. That was Grandma Sarah's teaching, and that's why we all aim to become Grandma. But what actually happened to Grandma Sarah? She was shipped out so easily. Yes, but that was... What? That mistake? Er, what? That Grandma made a mistake, so that's why she was punished, and that we're all equal and everyone has a chance? That's wrong. Even after all the competing and kicking others down to become Grandma, we're just livestock to them. Compete. And we see all of them taking the tests and training, and then one of them being taken by demons. It wasn't my fault. There was nothing I could do. I'm done. I can't stand it any more. The normal ones keep dying. I don't want to die. I'm never going to die. And of course, yeah, they had to have all the kids to build their connection. And they were taken away. I love you so much, Mom. And the ones that were the moms for the plant farms. We have all their faces looking horrified. You already know by now. There are no chances here. Just an endless living hell. You've known, but just didn't want to acknowledge it. I want to live. I don't want to die. I'm scared. If I just stay alive, if I'm alive one day, and I love that Crone was the one to actually stand out and like show this sort of... What's the word? Ambition is the word I always like to use. That was like really, really cool. And I... I feel sad that she can't be here for this moment, but I also like that her actions sort of set a lot of this framework. And of course, obviously, the actions of the main characters by escaping. This obedience has no future. I want to get out. I want to get out, and we have her thinking, but damn you. I got sick of it. Using freedom as bait and flaunting fear, it's nauseating. I've had enough. That's right. Now's not the time to die. If I can become Grandma, I'll do it. But it won't be for you guys. My children will definitely come back. I'll do this so I can help them when they do. I'm not going to let anyone rule over me anymore. And we have all the sisters. What about you, ladies? What's your answer? Are you still scared of death? Do you want to keep living in fear? If you want to blow the whistle and report me, go ahead. I won't stop you. I'm not forcing you. If you want to just watch, be my guest. But, if you stand with me, I'll show you something very interesting. And I love that that's really similar to um, what Norman said to Ray, I think it was. And they reach for the guns. This is great. Chapter 170, Together. And they all aim at Peter Rotry. Huh? What? Mom? You still call me Mom. You and Lonnie, Yvette, and everyone. Oh, and she's thinking back because all of them still called her Mom. Oh, man, I'm getting emotional again. This series is so good. After all I did to you, you betrayed me, Isabella. Yes. Isn't it obvious? What? These children and I and all the staff are your enemy. Mom is on our side, says Gilda, and the sisters. Why, says Don. Ah, if only we could return to when they knew nothing. I'm sorry. Welcome home. I missed you. Good job. 
you're amazing, if I could say that and hug them dearly. But, don't get me wrong, it just happened that we shared the same interests. Because that's all she wanted was to be like this... She wanted the facade in Gracefield to be what was real all along. Don't get me wrong, it just happened that we shared the same interests. I was getting fed up of my life here, and I didn't like the future that boy described. That boy, or his methods and opinions. How dare you, you damn food. That's why I wanted to crush everything. I thought I'd destroy everything. And she looks at Emma. I don't expect you to forgive me, because I don't forgive myself. So you can continue to hate me. You don't have to call me mom. Ah. Oh. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm trying not to cry. F. Because we see... Jeez, this one hit me hard. We see, um... Young Isabella. Jeez. This is... After all the things I read, this is really breaking me like this. We see young Isabella. And all the other sisters. Emma sees them as the kids they were in Gracefield. And they step forward. Or Emma steps forward. Thanks, Mom. And she still calls her Mom. And then... Ray, Norman, all the Goldie Pond kids joining in, Aish and Don and Gilda. I love this. Even Vincent and Hiato. This is so good. How dare you, all of you. Don't think you can get away with opposing me. Me? Lose? To damn food? And he starts screaming. Oh? Did he, um, did he, uh, what is it, what's the word, did he lambda if I himself? Sorry, let me wipe my eyes. Can't believe this made me cry after all the things I read. Um, jeez. I, <laughs> and I feel like I try to do the opposite of, like, hamming it up for the camera. I always feel, like, really self-conscious about that kind of thing, so I try to not, like, specifically not cry and freak out, but, oof, that was heavy. Oof, I think I'm getting past it now, though. Yeah, did he lambda if I himself? Because he grabs one of the guns from one of the sisters here. What the? Get down, yells Oliver. And it looks like he just starts spraying and tries to crawl into this little vent type area or like through this little gateway. No, it's a lie. I won't accept this. I'm not going to lose. I have to think of something, anything. All right. Okay, so obviously I loved that one. That was super emotional. I love that Isabella is a character who she was always... Even though she was sending these kids off, I'm going to say Isabella was always good. I'm not going to say she was evil because even though she did send them off, she was raised in a world where this is what happens. You grow to a certain age, you become a mama, or you die. So she was one of the ones who ended up becoming a mama. And even when she did what she did at the beginning, the first arc of the series... The way she explained it to Emma is, this is how this world is, and so I want to make sure that in this horrifying world, you can have the best life you possibly have until it's time for you to be harvested. And she always wanted this idea of the fake Gracefield to be what's real, and the fact that she hates herself and that the difference between her and Emma, the first arc was sort of this story of telling us that her and Emma are basically the same person, but the difference is, when it came down to it, Emma didn't quit and accept the world, where she quit and accepted the world. And she hates herself for what she did, but Emma's still willing to call her mom, even though she feels like she doesn't deserve that. It's so good. And seeing how all of those people that we don't even have names for they're all in the same place that Emma was in. They all went through the exact same thing that Isabella and that she went through, and Emma sees that in them. She still sees the girls who had perfect scores in Gracefield that they were, who Emma was. So I, I love that Emma would have been the same as all of them 
if she didn't be the person, the one who decided not to accept it when Isabella came to her room and told her to accept it. It's so good. I love that so much. That might be my favorite chapter in the entire series so far. It very well could be. Because that was just such strong storytelling with Emma and Isabella's characters from the beginning of the series until now. So, either way, let's read 171, and then we'll be all caught up and I'll have to wait. Me, lose, to damn food? No, it's a lie. I won't accept this. I'm not done yet. There has to be a way. Oh, the Imperial soldiers. If I can get some of the 2,000. Hey, back up. That's not impo er, that's not possible. Someone destroyed the outer bridge, and no one can go through. We're putting all our er, putting all efforts into. I know that already. Stop whining. Eat a bird or a bat and fly over here. Excuse me. Useless idiots. And he tosses the phone. Damn it. The women are everywhere. If I trigger their heart chips all at once. No, that's impossible unless the system is up again. Maybe I can get the brats in the storage room again. Damn it, that also requires the system. And he's running through the halls. What? This is the Imperial Capital, and... What? And we have the people. We will now betray... Er, we will now behead the traitors, Sungju and Musica. Oh, uh, they're going to be killed, think the kids. Sorry. Emma? Ray? Everyone? Huh? What? Oh shit, what is this? Everybody looks surprised. Oh, hold on, what the hell? I just got chills. What the? Interesting. I'm confused, what? I have like cold chills right now, what? What do you think you're doing here? How? So Lewis is here, and I have no idea what his motives would be if Lewis turns good guy here, what in the hell? And he's just walking up through the crowd as they part for him. Chapter 171, Defeat. Grand Duke Lewis. What in the hell? I thought he was missing, and they all kneel to him. You're alive, your highness? Yeah, what happened? I'm I'm so confused, because we're seeing the flashback there and all. Un unintentionally, yes. And even Musica shocked. Leaving that aside, what is the meaning of this? You've all gained a lot of power while I was gone. Even though you're merely dogs of the five regent houses? Well, I guess, er, well, I'm guessing you were cajoled by the Rattry Boy. Deplorable indeed. It's been a while, Sungju. What? Oh, wait. Hold on. He just cut his chest. Okay, I thought he killed him there for a second. And Sungju, music is yelling. Citizens, take a look. This is the evil blood. This is what you feared and hated. The sinister blood. And he drinks it in front of them. Oh! By doing that, he's going to show them all that it isn't cursed. Your Highness, what are you doing? How can you drink that tainted blood? And the crowd's freaking out. There is no need to fear. The evil blood isn't some infectious poison. That was a falsehood created by my sister, Legravalima. What? Rather, the evil blood is a miraculous blood to us. If you drink just a sip, you won't degenerate, even if you don't eat humans. But 700 years ago, the queen and the aristocrats misinformed everyone that the blood was toxic, framed those with this blood as traitors, and slaughtered them. All for their greed and reign. The power of the evil-blooded was inconvenient to rule the citizens with an iron fist using the farms. No way. How could that be? Say some of the people in the crowd. I speak the truth. We, the royal family in the five regent houses, devoured the evil-blooded long ago and obtained bodies that don't degenerate. While the citizens were starving, or while the citizens were starving, all of it was unnecessary. Ever since the promise 700 years ago, the continued lack of human meat and the degenerations and death caused by it, all of the suffering and fear were avoidable. Once the evil-blooded shared their blood, er, 
shed their blood in order to save the citizens, but they were killed for it. And now, for the same reasons, they're about to be killed by the greedy government. Truly ludicrous. You want to kill the evil-blooded? These two aren't traitors. Rather, they're heroes who tried to save you, the citizens. And I have no idea why Lewis is doing any of this. Brother, why? I mean, he's always said that the promise in the farms were annoying evils, but he had zero interest in politics and never cared about justice or doing something about the suffering of the citizens. All he did was pursue his pleasures. I'm sure this isn't like me, but the ones I dumped all this responsibility on have left this world, and I can't or and I can't look the other way if we're just following the orders of humans. This reign has reached its limit. Other than that, I guess it's just a whim. And he thinks about Hugo and the Goldie Pond kids, Emma and Ray. The true traitors were the Queen and the Houses, and the current government, vassal armies of the five regent houses, and the farms. Your Highness and the, ki <laughs> the kids look so happy. I Grand Duke Louis order for the execution to be cancelled, and the arrest of the traitors, the leaders of er the traitors, the leaders of the current government. No, even the Imperial Capital fell to enemy hands. There's nothing left I can do. They've already made a promise, too, when he thinks about, insert name here, I've lost. I've lost. I've been defeated. And he thinks about them all escaping. It's over. And Emma confronts him in the hallway. Don't move. No. Not yet. They've made a new promise, with insert name here. But they haven't implemented it yet. The one who made the promise was 63194. Emma. Emma, he thinks. Got it. I lose. Yeah, I've lost. There's no future for me, he thinks. Please, don't shoot me. But, as long as I kill her, Emma, the promise is void. Their future will be destroyed. And he's just completely losing it. Next chapter in just two days. Wow, this was an insane read-through. 169 was okay, but... Holy shit, 170 and 171. Wow. I am like, my heart is pounding. I have adrenaline going just from reading. That does not happen very often. But like I've said, The Promised Neverland has always been able to bring emotions that so many other things haven't out of me. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Lewis stuff. That was like so unexpected and out of nowhere. I'm like legit like sh I went from like crying in the last chapter to legit like shaking like what is going on during this one. Wow, that was insane. That was that was crazy. I loved it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you didn't like the video, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of these three chapters. Uh what you thought of my thoughts and reaction. Um, I don't know if I'll wait three more chapters to do the next one, or if I'll just need to read 172 when it comes out. But, jeez, I love this. Like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitter if you want. If you want a link to the Discord server, ask and I'll give you one. And if you want to help support the channel on Patreon so I can keep making these videos, then just ask and I can give you a link. But that's it. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.